Now that we've practiced all these blending techniques, let's practice blending color to white, color to gray, black to color, and getting these values. So we're going to start with color to white. Now with your pastels, you will always layer the darkest color first, remember? So I'm gonna start with the color. I'm gonna use my heavy pressure or hard blending and gradually lift the oil pastel as I work my way to the other side getting some medium to light pressure. The very end of my rectangle, I will leave pure white. Now let's grab a white pastel. We're gonna start on the opposite side, solid white with heavy pressure. Now I'm going to blend using really, really tight circles, same as I would do with a colored pencil. That way I'm actually smoothing and blending out the pastel and covering all of the paper. I can go back over top with the colored pastel if I think it got a little bit too white or too light. Next we're going to do the same thing from color to gray. Now depending on the color that you're using, the gray might be darker or it might be lighter than. I'm starting with the gray so I'm going to use that heavy or hard pressure at the gray side and gradually lighten as I go. I'm gonna make sure that I cover the top and the bottom of my rectangle. So I have to go horizontally for these. Now I'm going to come in with the color, all vertical, of course get my edges, but I'm going to come over top of the gray and I'm gonna start those small tight circles that are still going vertical. Now I'm finding that my color was in fact darker than the gray, so I'm gonna to have to go back over top of the gray and really smooth it out. Next is black to color. Now black does blend very, very heavily. A little bit goes a long way. So we're gonna be very careful about how much black we put on the end. And you want to use pretty medium to light pressure anywhere that you're going to blend that black into the color to get those darker shades. The other side I'm going to come in with my solid color. And for this one I decided to start with the black end so I can slowly bring the black over into the color because it will pull the black with it. For this one, it does help if you go the opposite direction, if you go horizontally, if you had colored vertically, um, so that you're really pulling the color along. So I am gonna go back over top with a little bit of medium and light pressure black, and then a follow up with more color. So it looks really smooth and natural. You may use your fingers to blend as well. And don't forget to wipe off your pastel. Now here we're going to blend from black to a color to white. So I started with my black at the very end, medium pressure, and then pure color in the middle. So I'm gonna get the color to white first before I go into the black. That way I keep my pastel clean. Now I can go into the black this time I'm going from the middle outwards. And you can see this is a very smooth transition. And last but not least, wipe off my white, get off any color from last time, and blend it in small tight circles. I don't wanna get too much white into the blue, I wanna keep that color in the middle pure, so I am gonna go back with just a little bit more blue. Clean off the black, I don't wanna get any black over in the white area. So just cleaning this up a little bit. Awesome, all done. You can smudge a little bit. I did get a tiny speck of black in this section, so I'm scraping it off with my fingernail and then I'm gonna blend a little bit out with my tissue paper.